Hello, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion, and today we are doing the final of the heart wreath tutorial. As you can see here, I am just making a tassel. I'm considering putting it under the flower, but you'll see that throughout this video I make a lot of changes and decisions. So if you end up having any questions after this last one is tutorial is done, please comment below and just ask away. I'm always willing to um, discuss it with you. Here you can see that um, I'm experimenting, trying to make final decisions on where things are going to go. And um, I'm thinking, should it go here? Should it go there? Then I realized that the pink is getting lost in the flower, so I add a little bit more to highlight it. So I thought it needed a little bit more pink, so I decided to utilize these. And yes, I cut them in twos and threes, and I placed them all the way around. And it just gave it just a little bit more pink. I just felt like it needed a little more something to make it look a little elegant and... So these are the types of things that, you know, I bought a whole, I have a whole stack of these and um, I decided to use it in this fashion. You can use things in a variety of ways, but I'm just making sure this is all reinforced now that I've made my final decisions. Um, a lot of times I just, I just um, glue them and then I'll reinforce that, those areas that I did glue down. Just to make sure that I'm not going to lose anything. Because I do do a light glue. I don't do a really heavy glue. And then I just reinforce everything. Make sure it's gonna, you're going to stay where I put you. So here I am making sure that there's room and making sure this flower will fit perfectly where I have decided to place it. Let's see if I can get this to turn into a, a rose. I might just... I think it'll make a, a beautiful vintage looking rose. So I'm just gonna turn it into a rose. have so many flowers pre-made you'd think I would use an, one of those flowers and I just might I'll probably go through that bin and see what I find in my stash also but I do like to use the fabrics that I use in a project to make a flower also not always just use and I know I haven't used made any flowers with this fabric so I may have some flowers with the other fabric we used the so I'm going to go through my stuff and see if I find some little small stuff that I can use. So I think that my next um, craft I want to do is I really want to utilize some vintage fabric that I purchased. I showed you in my one of my D-stashes, all my, my D-stash, I'm sorry, in one of my hauls. I found it in a haul and I think I'm going to go ahead and use that it's a it's portrait of children so i think that's going to look lovely right there and then i think i'll add this was the other fabric rose that we made it's beautiful it's the it's the um that beautiful old fabric trying to decide where where I like it I want it to actually it's the same lace we used back here hmm, I'll figure it out so this is what I do now since we use this pink we could use this and um, simply fold it and roll it and look it's just like a flower just like a, like a little closed flower or closer to a rosette So we can add this as some of the color that we put in. 
So using that beautiful. Now I want to do the same thing with um, some of the fabric. Okay, so I cut the fabric. It's about three inches wide. And I think I'm going to make a rose out of it too. And add some of this fabric in that center there. I think that would be lovely. But I love this one. This is pretty. It just looks so beautiful. It brings in those colors of that of that fabric. So this one ended up a little bit larger than this one, but it's they're both beautiful. I think they'll make beautiful flowers there with threesome. Then we'll tuck in. Maybe a cup, maybe I'll do another one like that to add in some color. Or I might exchange this. We'll do three triple like that. Maybe I'll exchange this one for another pre-made one that I find. We'll see. Okay, here we go. I have glue all over my hands. If it's not other things, it's glue. Okay, here I go. Now, I'm all done and I am satisfied with it. I still need to have a little more cleaning up to do, um, but overall, I do like it. I, let me show you what I added. I added some bits of pearl along the edges, and I it's not all evenly dispersed or anything. I just put it, you know, sporadically where I saw some space to add pearls. I just added some little pearls along here, one, one wrap here. And then I added some pearls on top of these little flowers I had put there. See those? Hmm. And this right here, I didn't tell you what this was. This is a vintage earring that I put right here in the center. And then down here, I added pearls hanging of various colors, a couple of colors. I mean, there's one, some ivory, some slightly peachy pink, and some laces um, from the back because I had already... I had already put this on so I decided to go from the back and it looks good because it stays hanging and it's kind of behind it looks nice I like it and then over here I did end up putting that rose I'm not sure about if I like this center on it but I think I, I think it looks pretty good I'm not 100% sure about that one but we'll see maybe I'll change it I don't know and then I put that pink cameo there. I think that looks lovely. And um, here's that piece of vintage lace that I just put in there like a filler to hang down. And then these are actually, this is a piece from I made when I was making a lot of the lace, the lace tutorials with the all of this technique. And um, um, I don't, I don't think I gave you a close-up of how these flowers, I added this, this pink in the back of this flower to give it a little bit more pink in it because I felt like it was kind of diminishing with all the rest of the colors. And there we go. I'm done. And this is pretty full. Let's see. Well, I it's it's pretty full. I got a lot in there. And I, and I did like it hanging down. So that, those were my decisions. I just have a little bit, tiny bit of cleaning up to do, you know. I clean things up like, I see a string hanging there. But it's shabby. So it's supposed to be messy and shabby. But I do clean up the ones that I see falling. In and sometimes I'll shake it up. Make sure things fall off of them. And, you know, if I have a really long string like that one, I'll clean that off. I'll cut that off. That's a cow cleaning. Some of some I usually leave a lot of these types of strings because it's part of that tattered type of look. So I hope you like it. I'll be posting some pictures on some of my Facebook sites before I actually put up this video, so you'll get to see those photos before you see this. So I hope you like it. I'll be putting it up for sale on my Etsy page. We can do a lot with 
bargains, creativity, and it can bring us a long way with. So show, look for the things that you have at home that you can manipulate to do things. I'm not symmetrical, but I'm trying to add enough interest to balance it out. So I enjoyed making this heart and I think I'll, I don't know, I might make another one, but with a, with a slightly different style. Maybe I'll do one with all that wedding dress fabric where it can look elegant and, but I'm not sure yet. Right now, this has been satisfying for me to work on something and to use some of the new materials I got from Craft Anita. This, these, I used this and these pearls and this, I really like this. I didn't show you that. It's so pretty. It's the center that she had. I've never seen them before, but I loved it. So there's a constant, uh, basically a variety of kind of a mixture of looks with this rag wreath, rag lace wreath. This is Liz with Crafty Devotion. I hope you are inspired today to create something new. I'll talk to you next time. Hello, this is Liz from Crafty Devotion. I wanted to show my share my latest project with you. I just finished this um, beautiful, shabby chic, tattered <laughs> heart. It's it's really a combination of shabby chic, tattered fabrics, and um, elegance all in one. I've used um, a rag heart. I made a rag heart, and then on top of the rag heart, I chose a, a variety of fabrics, from um, fabrics to laces to a tea dyed sheet that and brought it all together to form this beauty. I've also embellished it with um, a vintage, a large vintage earring. And this is also a vintage earring. Oh, let me see. You can't see that, can you? Okay, let's turn it around. There you go. Okay. I embellished it with two large vintage earrings. This is a vintage earring and so is this one a vintage earring on the center on the center of this flower. This flower is the um, tattered flower that we made in my video where I teach you how to make this the flower and I actually add, added some more items to it to actually enhance it. I added some lace to it. I added some, um, a little bit of pink to it to bring out the pink so it'll tie, it would tie it all in together because it was, the pink was getting lost on that. And then I also tied in the fabric by creating this handmade, handmade ro rose. And in the handmade rose, I placed a cameo with bling around it. And then I used some of the fabric, the same lace that I used, um, the, I used this, this, with the lace that I used here, which is a vintage lace, I actually made a roll, also another flower here, with a butterfly cameo on it. And then I embellished it with a couple of new items. This item is, these are, there's, I combine old and new, vintage and new items, and I make and create and um, repurpose the items. So um, these are some appliques I ordered from Crafty Nita. And then I, um, added some pearls because I thought it needed a little more bling so here's some pearls here and here and I have beautiful pearls hanging down and then I want you to see this lovely big giant tassel at the end I'll put some pictures photos in also at the end so that you can see the full effect because let me see if I can lift this just a little higher there we go yeah you can see it yeah I don't have very good, um, but let me move my paper out of the way. Okay, there you go. You can see the full effect of it. It has some, oops, that is the hanging. On the hanging part, it has, I threw some tattered and laces and fabric. And then in the center, it has some pearls hanging down. Oops. So, 
there you can see the the full almost the whole thing there and I hope you like what I made on one of the things I want to do is I want to I want to I was I did record myself when I was doing this so it's a possible future video um, but in order for me to make it I really do need you to comment below and tell me yes please make the video um, I need to have quite a few views and quite a few so that because I need to I'm starting to get where I have a lot of things I can be doing from cra crafting my own things to you know doing videos but um, I need to make some decisions and I keep on asking you please share and um, I will work on it. It looks like my next thing I will be doing is a um, couple of video response challenges and I think I'm going to do one more uh, flower or another of our tattered flowers will be next. So please comment and let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on this.